In this video, I'll explain how to extract the most common values from a vector using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's get into it. So in this video, I'm going to show you an example. And this example is based on the vector object that we can create with the lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing, which is called vec. And we can print this vector to the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector object containing 10 alphabetical letters. So if we want to count the occurrences of each of these values in our vector, we can use the table function, as you can see in line six of the code. So if you run line six of the code, you can see at the bottom that we have created a frequency table of our vector. And as you can see, the value A is contained three times in our data, the value B two times, and so on. So you can also see that at this point, the table is showing all values in our data. However, let's assume that we want to extract only the three values that are the most common in our data. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line eight. And in this line of code, I'm applying the sort function and the table function in combination with each other. And within the sort function, I'm also specifying that I want to sort our table in decreasing order. And then I'm subsetting the first three elements of this table. So if you run line eight of the code, you can see that another frequency table is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. However, this time you can see that we have kept only the three elements with the most occurrences in our vector. So in this case, the values A, B and F have been kept in our final table. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to create a frequency table that contains only the most common values in a vector using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.